Hey everybody, PC Outcast here, back with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I just realized, like, I'm walking through this canteen with, like, two giant swords in my hand. They're not even on my back or something, or in, hol in uh, not holsters, uh, in sheaths. Crazy. Okay, so we just finished talking to Holden, who was just a complete jerk face. And now what? I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Oh, yummy, juicy, chica, night. Little girl should not be in bar. This is no place for little girl. If little girl smart, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, tuba face? Little girl needs lesson and manners. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just brought my food. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. We know I'm trouble with Wookie. Our problem with you, little girl. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Little girl, lucky she has a big friend. Some more than that, eh? Can't talk to Ro the Rodian. <laughs> Why are you bothering hey, me? Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. But Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Right. Can I talk to hey, you, then? I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the Lower City. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. That's weird, a Twi'lek that speaks basic. <laughs> hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalba. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do a Wookiee and Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zabar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Can I ask you some questions? Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs, I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Hmm. Tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Okay. How about the Lower Street Gangs? There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Volker <coughs> and the Hidden Bex. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. He lost his sight in his swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Hmm. Interesting. Why did Brezhik leave the Hidden Bex? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of terrorists. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Interesting. How about Kalanord? Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. Interesting. Well, thanks very much. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. 
Oh, I haven't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Okay. Who's that guy? Just some nobody. Okie dokie. Uh, you don't think I can actually speak to any of these people except for... Gaja gacha. What do you want, human? You come to stare like others on terrace? You think we're strange? You're a freak. No, human, you are a freak. One tiny brain, two eyes that only see it in one direction. I am the pinnacle of evolution. But I know this world, non humans are despised, and my kind most of all, so I won't argue with you, human. Not here. Can I ask some questions after insulting you? What kind of questions? Where are you from? You couldn't say it, and don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name, and four ears hear the true sound. But your kind would call our home Sorgis. A small world far off from the far off the Perel per, Perlaminian trade route. All right. Um. What do you know about Terrace? Nothing. We were only stopping here to get supplies when the Sith attacked. They imposed quarantine on all ships that had landed on Terrace. Now we're stuck here in a world that hates non-humans. Not a good place to be. Okay. Good. There was alone. We just wanted to quarantine Jen so we can go back home. Gotcha. I think that's... that is not it. What? Why are you bothering me? Can you see I, I'm ad auditioning a dancer? Or at least I'm trying to audition her? Not much point if she doesn't have a partner. I don't like your tone. Oh ho! You think throwing a tantrum is going to impress me? Sorry, I managed two dozen dancers, musicians, and other performers. I see more tantrums in one day than most people in a year. What are you talking about? Names: Bib Solu, manager of the for the Starlight Entertainers, top performing troupe in the sector of the galaxy. I was here scouting new talent and Sith attacks, and now I can't leave. You'd think the Sith would let me go so I could get back to my troop, but I guess they just don't appreciate the arts. So since I'm stuck here, I figured I might as well continue with my auditions. I'm supposed to be auditioning Lynn, but I think I'm wasting my time. Lynn's got all the moves, but I need to know if she can pull them off while sharing the stage with her partner. Where's her partner? She doesn't have one. That's the problem. Aren't you listening to me? Dancers don't perform so well, so I need to see if she can work with someone else before I get her up on stage. Okay. Well, I... Uh, I don't know. I don't care. Achuta. Achuta. Bounty hunter? Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Zax. I've not seen you here before, human. You're new to the bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. Or are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents on the hut with all the answers. Gurney said I should speak to you about the Rakul Serum. You have the Rakul Serum? It's worth a thousand credits, Davik. Uh, I don't have it. You find the serum, you come see me. Davik wants the serum, and I'll pay you good money to get it to him. Same prices for the bounties. You work for Davik? Not officially, though. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him, and for me to post his bounties. Davik posts bounties in the government office? Is that even legal? I used to have to keep a relationship secret, but since, since the Sith arrived, nobody cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. But enough talk, back to business. This is the office, so we should talk bounties. Are you looking for information? Um. Sure, let's talk about bounties. There are two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin. The other is Bandic Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of the victims. But not all the bounties are dangerous. Davik got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Daya. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Another's for a man named Largo who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. 
But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there is Matrick. He used to work for Davik, then he betrayed the exchange, now Davik wants him dead. I'll put all this information in your data pad. Well, I mean, they sound more like contract killings, but I guess I'm okay with that. I want more details on the bounties you're offering. Need some information. I have information, but it's not free. For a fee, I'll tell you everything you want about the street gangs, Davik, other stuff too. But first, I have to come up with 100 credits. I'm not gonna pay you to ask some questions. Pfft. Then we don't do business. Davik pays me to earn credits, not to answer questions. If you don't pay, then I don't talk. Maybe you could take some bounties and earn some money, then you could afford to pay for my information. You're happy, I'm happy, Davik gets this cut. Looks good for everyone. Fine. Whoops. No, no, I don't have a thing. Never mind. Oh, tell him about Matrick. Trader Matrick is now dead. a dead trader. This is a lesson for anyone thinking about returning against the exchange. Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. You can up that reward if you know what's good for you. You're not too smart, human. Smart people don't threaten agents of Davik. You don't scare me. But you just made me mad. Maybe you need to learn a lesson. Maybe I just won't pay anything for this bounty. I would teach you some respect, wouldn't it? You want to reconsider and take the 300, human? You can't talk to me. Yes, I can, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's a security system in this building. You attack me, and you'll be vaporized. Go away, human. Next time you know better. Back again, human. I hope you don't. You didn't come just to chat. Davik hired me to do business and make credits, not small talk. Ah. Is that a joke, human? We've already dealt with that bounty. Why are you asking about it now? It's over. Don't waste my time with old bounties. Give me my money. Well, damn. Can't be a smart mouth. Get smart, don't get paid. Oh no. Such sadness. Okay. What's the situation here? What's this? Hidden back base. Hey! You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Fek? I go wherever I want. Maybe so. But this door is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the Hidden Banks. Hmm, well, I need his help. Maybe? I have to speak with him, it's important. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Valkyr Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe I could be an ally against those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden bets are watching you. Okay, so I can just go in there. Fine. Sounds like a plan. Don't know if it's a good plan, but it's a plan. Uh, hidden. Lots of hidden bets. Okay, there's a Zidra. Standard door over there. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zedra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zedra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. 
Okay. Oh, why did I have to go around? You don't have to him forgive, Zach. Him across the... Ever since Bredrick and the Vulkers began this no. war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? There are problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Do you know anything about it or not? I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Interesting. Fastle, a slave, what will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There should be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop Race. Do I have to? I don't even own a Swoop bike. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you pro proposing? Well, the Swoop Race is for the Lower City Gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Mm, how am I supposed to get in there? Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Okay. She and her Wookiee Where friend find her? are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity, but you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got a Sith uniform to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past it. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it. And their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, 
I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. What do you want with the Sith uniforms? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Okay, fine. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, I'll be back. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Right. Guys, get out of my way. Locked. Can I get into any of these? Oh, hey! Loot! Nice concussion grenade, that sounds good. Okay, a bunch of random hidden backs. Security door. Locked. Another door over here, is that? That's a security door that's not gonna open for us. Anything else over here? Right. Okay. If I had that robot with me. Get it someday. Really, do you need to like uh, upgrade some things? I think. Oh, got some Valkyrs again. Enforcer. Frag grenade. Concussion grenade? Let's try that. Oh, nice. One of them got knocked out. Oh, he's not quite dead yet. Oh, come on. Get him. Thank you very much. Nice, okay. Ah! That's them. And there's some other guys over there. But we can loot first. Battle stimulant. Interesting. Okay, who are you guys? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord and uh, see the big crime lord come get his money from the black Volkers. So you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tonepodo. Oh, hey, Kandris, we didn't know you was working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around. We don't want no trouble with Mandalorian. Here's Davik's cut. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Kandris. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Mm hmm What save? Um, hello? Hi. Thank you. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Okay. What's this place? Lower City Apartments. Oh, 
No. Kalonor going to murder some people again. Gee, we, I thought you seem to be taking job. great interest in our I progress. Do you need something, little man? I had to go. That's Kalonor, the infamous bounty hunter. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. The only way you'll collect that bounty is over our cold, dead bodies. That's the plan. That was quick. What? Okay then. Can I loot them? Nope. All right. Apartment door. Nope. We got more black walkers. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Well, when I actually make contact with them, it's pretty short work. Karth, you seem to be a little unhealthy there. Gang boss. <laughs> nice. How'd you like that? Oh, wrecked. Shock stick, another energy shield, and another combat suit. Okay, this thing, can you, uh, can you disable this, dude? Recover mine, disable mine. What? Now you literally can't do anything there. Okay, that's not good. Oh, more damn black fuckers. Yes? Frag grenade, poison grenade, eh, toss a poison grenade over there. Come on. Nice. Although that did kind of do some damage to me. Oh, that sucks. My health is getting to be too much. You love ball easy like. Alright, can I recover the mine? Apparently not. Oh, my health is garbage. Hey, more supplies. Auto work do its thing. Auto leveling do its thing. Auto work. More black walkers. Sweet. Oh, they are making horrible noises dying. Can't you guys just die quietly? Peacefully. Um just disable the mine. Good. Forget about trying to get it. Desk? What's this? This is an electronic personal message center, though it looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There is one unread message. Hey Elam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember that I taught what I taught you because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. 
Hope to hear from you soon. Uncle Louie. Strong box is of particularly sturdy construction. The lock is a computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. Because this box is an older off-planet model, there's no interface for you to try and slice the system. You'll have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Try and enter the password. Strongbox is property of Elon Matic. Access not permitted. It's hyperdrive, of course. Who taught you to fire a blaster? Uncle. Where did your family come from originally? Aldron. Identity confirmed. That was easy. Blaster Republic Mod Armor. What's that? That is not as good as what I've got. <coughs> Pardon me. I guess I could put my another energy shell over here. Should probably actually use those things. Low security door, attack it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, she's the, yeah, I better, I'm gonna just save before we do that. She is one of the people I am supposed to kill. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Who are you? I was just exploring. I'm here to collect the bounty on your head. You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Okay. Um, sonic grenade? Adhesive grenade? Let's try that. Is that actually doing anything? Uh, you asked for this. Oh, I'm gonna get dead. I am going to absolutely positively die. You have a power blast. You asked for this. Oh, you missed. Guy, guy, take your ad, please. Um, how about um, frag grenade? Oh, God. <laughs> or not? Okay, that didn't really work at all. Oh God, what happened? Terrible. Let's not go back that far. There you go. All right, let's try this again. Stop right there. You're a f now you. Oh, that really did not do much at all to her. Yeah, let's uh, activate this. And oh boy, take a minute. And then I don't know what the bat what was the battle stimulant to. Vitality attack damage. Sure, let's uh let's take that. I go in there and bash her. Can we do that? Please. Um, hello? There we go. She took quite a beating. We took a beating from her, too. Adrenaline amplifier and a neural, neural, neural band. Interesting. Neural band gives us saves. Will plus two. Sure. Adrenal amplifier. Reflex plus two. Sounds good. Yeah, I kinda I'm kind of kind of in pain here. Ready. Maybe you should have a med pack or two. That's a little bit better. Sure. All right. Well, one bounty down. Okay, 
we're almost around. So our last apartment. One more, Volker. Oh, can't uh, can't loot him. Can't loot that. Oh, there you go. Foot Locker. Med pack. All right, I think we have made it all the way around. Apparently, I uh, did not pick this up. Another energy shield. Nice. All right, we will call that an episode. Thanks very much for joining me. We'll see you next time.